Hi, good morning or afternoon or evening whenever you're watching. Um, we are here on Facebook for another preschool story time. Our theme today is uh, construction. So we're going to do a lot of fun things with that. Before we get started on that, I want to tell you about a little um, <clears throat> activity we're doing in the library. And yes, by the way, the library is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So if you want to get in on our little activity, we're celebrating Dr. Seuss this month. And I've got a couple things for you to do. First of all, we have a little activity booklet. It's got six pages of coloring. Um, there's a word search and I think a little design your own crazy sock page and lots of coloring, as I said. So those are free. You can pick one up in the children's department. Um, another thing we have going on in the children's department is a little quiz all about Dr. Seuss's books. So if you um, want to come in and do the quiz, we have a, a display case in the children's department and it's got lots of hints and things that you might be able to use to answer the questions. If you can't answer them by yourself or if you need help writing things down, you can ask a grown up or a librarian to help you. So why would you want to do this little quiz? Well, I have some little uh, prizes for the kids who want to come in and do the quiz. I have a cool little um, Dr. Seuss cat in the hat pencil. Look, it's all stripey. I have some um, temporary tattoos and when you put it on, it'll say read and it'll have a little cat in the hat hat. And then I also have some cute little <clears throat> um, buttons that you can use to put on your backpack. I've got four different ones. There's the cat, a green one, and there's the kids from the cat in the hat and their fish. And then another one is just the hat of the cat. And then here's um, one of the cat's friends. I don't know if it's thing one or thing two. Um, but you can get those uh, when you come to the library during the month of March. Since we're kind of focusing on that this month. So now let's get to our story time activity. We are going to start out with our alphabet. So today's theme is construction, and construction starts with this letter. You know what this letter is? It's letter C. Let's make a letter C in the air. So we're going to start up at the top, make a gentle curve around, but you don't make a whole circle. You stop before you make a circle. Let's try that again. Letter C. Okay, very good. And then small letter C is just the same. It's just a little bit smaller. So let's make a small one. Letter C, just a small one. There you go. Um, here is a treat that starts with the letter C. What is that? It's a cupcake. Maybe you have had cupcakes um, for a birthday party or some other fun occasion, tea party or something like that. So cupcake, the letter C sound in that word is C a hard letter C. But as we are about to find out, letter C can be a little sneaky and it has more than one sound. So let's get some more cards. Okay, what is this thing? Do you know? Do you know what vegetable that is? Maybe you like to eat this vegetable with a little dip or some, uh, maybe some hummus or something, or maybe you put peanut butter on it and put some little raisins or cream cheese, um, this is celery. And it starts with the letter C, but it doesn't say the k, k sound. It says celery, like a letter S. Oftentimes when there's a, a letter E uh, right after the letter C, it's going to sound like an S. So that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Here is another one where we're going to hear the hard C sound like a letter K makes. What animal do you see here? It's a cow, right? I've got another animal card, but it's a tricky one. What is this one? It's a super fast animal. Do you know it? It's a cheetah, a cheetah. When 
has a letter H with it, it usually sounds like this, like a train. So that's another sound we can have with letter C. I thought I better get this, this little card out. This is an al not an alphabet card, but a counting card. And what do you see on here? This is a little construction toy, isn't it? So I thought we better use this one. How many are there? I see one, two, two little toy trucks. So that's that's good too. To remember our counting as well as our alphabet. Okay, so now that we're um, we've kind of reviewed our letter, I want to see if you can guess some riddles with me. And these will all have the hard C sound. The first little riddle I'm going to give you is, I'm thinking of something, it starts with the letter C. A lot of people have these for pets and they're furry. They have long tails and they say meow. Can you think of what animal that is? Did you think of a cat? Because that's what I was thinking of here. I didn't bring my own cat. I have one cat at home. His name is Spanky and he's orange. So he's a cute little friend we have at our house. Okay, here's another thing um, that we have all around us, uh, especially when we're outside. Um, we use these to get from place to place, especially if the places we're going are a little too far to walk or ride our bikes. Can you think of something that starts with letter C that can carry us from place to place? Did you think of a car? Look at this, I've got a snazzy little race car. Isn't it cute? What color is it? It's an orange race car, isn't it? I like it. So cars carry us. Um, now we already did this little animal, but let's do it again. This is an animal that gives us some really delicious things to eat like milk and butter, and sour cream and regular cream and ice cream. Can you think of that animal? Um, it lives on farms and the sound that this animal makes, if I say it, I'm gonna give it away, is moo. Can you think of that animal? Did you think of a cow? Look at my nice little cow here. Okay, that's our animal. Now this one you may or may not get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there and see if you can get it. If your mom or somebody, your dad, your big brother or your big sister is doing some laundry at home, um, and what if your dryer isn't working? Or what if you don't have a dryer? Um, what can you do to get your wet clothes dry? You can hang them out on the line. And what do you use to hold the clothes on the line? Did you think of it? A clothes pin, right? These look like little alligators. <laughs> okay, close pin. One more, one more. I'm thinking of um, a little animal. Um, it has, um, oh, it usually has lots of little segments or, well, they not segments, but um, this animal is small. It lives in, in amongst the leaves. Sometimes we see them in spring and they often change into another animal um, that can fly away. Can you think of an animal that starts out as something that's crawling and then grows up into something that flies? Well, I don't know if that's a very good clue, but what I was thinking of was caterpillar and I have a crazy little orange caterpillar here and it's got all kinds of these little, <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's a cute little caterpillar. So I wanted to show it to you. Well, let's get started now with some stories. Our first story is about a crane. A crane. So what can a crane pick up is the title. It's by Rebecca Dotley. Let's see what a crane can pick up. Okay, hopefully you can see the book here, okay. What can a crane pick up? A truck? Yes, a truck. Can you believe it? A crane can pick up a whole giant truck. And a truck and a truck. Wow. This crane can pick up more than one truck at a time. That is a strong crane. 
and a railroad car if it gets stuck. Wow, this crane right here has wrapped around the train. There's a tree on the track, so the crane is going to come to the rescue and lift the train up. Look at all the animals that are riding on that train. I see a horse and a crocodile. That starts with letter C. I see a snake and a giraffe. I see a bear and a monkey and a turtle. They must be on their way to the zoo. A truck, a train, a car, and a plane can all be lifted with a crane. Look at that, there's a platform here. The long cables go up to the top of the crane where there's kind of a pulley or something. And the crane can pick up that whole heavy load. Can a crane pick up a wooden wheel? A wooden wheel and a load of steel. A load of steel, a wheel, a tree, and a submarine from beneath the sea. A train could pick up, or a crane could pick up all those things. Can a crane pick up a crane? It could, and billions and of bundles of builders would. So a big crane can even pick up a smaller crane and a whole bunch of wood on top of it. How about poles and pipes and bricks? To a crane, it's a game of pickup sticks. Well, this is no problem for the big heavy lifting crane. Here's some workers helping um, uh, the crane help them build a tall building. And here are some smaller cranes on the ground below. Cranes can be used any place at all. Some jobs are big, like putting the Ferris wheel in place, and some jobs are small, like moving this little ticket booth. Watch as cranes with chains and hooks lift cartons and cages and even library books. See the cranes with slings and straps? Lift cuckoo clocks and baseball caps. Those are some toy cranes, I think. Can a crane lift men in business suits? Yes, and a load of cowboy boots. Cowboy boots or even a cow. That was one of our letter C words today, wasn't it? A cow, but how? What else can a crane lift high in the air? A sunken ship? a polar bear, and boxes and boxes of underwear. Can a crane lift a mummy's ancient case? It can, and a shuttle that soars into space. If we had a crane that was so big, it could lift things up that high. I don't know if there is such a crane. Cranes pick things up. That's what they do. Look out, or a crane might pick up you, and you, and you. And you, that is the end of our little crane story, our happy little crane story. Let's take a look now at some heavy equipment up close. Now, I brought a couple of things out of the toy closet. Let me just show you. My first thing was my dinosaur dump truck. Here we go, dinosaur dump truck. There it goes. It can dump things. What could it dump? Let's put the car in the bucket. Okay, it's in there. See it? I'm going to dump it out. See if it works. Yeah. Yep, it dumped out. So we could drive it around. I wish you could be here to come and play with me with this little toy. Our toys in the story room have not had anyone play with them for almost a year because of our virus situation, but hopefully it won't be too much longer before we can get together and get all the lonely toys out of the toy closet. I got one more construct, well, I don't know if this is really construction, but it's kind of like a crane. So here is my car carrier, and it's very hard for me to hold this up so you can see it. But here we have a magnet on the end, 
and it can swivel around. It can land on the magnet on the top of the car and pick it up and put it down someplace else. Or it can put it right back on the, on the uh, carrier part. So that's kind of an example of a crane, how that works. You have to swivel the arm over, you have to attach it and then ah, lift it up. I dropped one, let's try this one. There, there I go. Okay, I guess that could happen if you're not a good crane operator. What if you drop something? That would not be good. And there I dropped all our stuff. <laughs> okay, let me put it back down here. Let's check out some of our heavy equipment pictures. This book in the library is kind of old, but I can't get another one, so I keep it on the shelf because it has such cool pictures. So we won't read, read all of the words, but we'll certainly look at the pictures. Now there's different types of heavy equipment for construction. Look at how big this truck is. Here's the man. He's not even as tall as one of the tires. Check it out. Wow, that is a super big vehicle, isn't it? Dump truck, cool. And this is called a bucket wheel excavator. Each bucket or uh, each wheel um, has little buckets on it. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll open the flap here. So this has all kinds of buckets that are attached to a wheel to get a lot of earth moving. Now here, I believe the space shuttle is not being flown anymore. But I don't know if you can see this. It has its own vehicle and I see some wheels under there. It can drive the space shuttle. Wow. Now here's some machines for mining work. Here's a big crane with a bucket on the end. But you'd have to be pretty skillful to use that. Check this one out. Oh, and I, oh, this book, <laughs> this book is so clumsy. Look at that big, big machine. And here again, we see the crane. Okay, here's another picture where you can see the, the scoop has lots of dirt in it. These, these ones are called, um, not cranes, but they're called drag lines. They use big metal buckets to dig deep into the earth to uncover minerals hidden below. They might need as many as 40 motors and they may need to work 24 hours a day with no rest. Of course, there would be different people operating it. This is a boring machine. It makes big tunnels underground. And um, it just has a big, um, I don't know if I have a, this one doesn't fold out. But this is the kind of machine they cre use to um, create a tunnel under the English Channel between England and France. Here's a close up of that. Wow, that's really big. Let's see what else we got on here. Here's a timber machine. I don't know if you can see that. This kind of machine can um, pull up trees and peel the branches and bark off for when people need to get logs. Here's offshore drilling rig for getting oil out from under the ocean. Here's some giant size tractors. Look at that big tire. And let's see what this tractor is doing. This is a combine, I think, let's see. Well, it doesn't say that it's a combine, but I, I, I think that's what it is. And the driver sits in there and um, harvests the uh, crop here. And inside of the cab, there's air conditioning and all kinds of comforts, probably a radio. This is how big the steering wheel is. It's quite big. I think that's bigger than the one in your car. Here's uh, some road construction work. You need pavers and here's a roller that flattens the um, road surface. Let's see, this one is a bulldozer. Look at that. Wow. And that one's doing all kinds of road work. This one says, um, this is a, a mining bulldozer. 
mining. And then here, um, here is a picture of the stick that the uh, bulldozer uses, a uh, bulldozer driver uses to move the machine where he wants to go. It doesn't have a steering wheel, it has a stick, kind of like a, a joystick on a video game. Here's another bulldozer. It says bulldozers come in many sizes. Let's see, I'm, I'll show you this page while I'm reading. From small to large, the biggest bulldozer ever weighed 300,000 pounds and had a 1,150 horsepower engine. And the blade was 11 feet high. That's like a, that's really tall and 25 feet wide. And the machine itself was more than 38 feet long. Um, it was as big as a two bedroom house. So this one is more of an average regular size bulldozer, but they come in different sizes. So that's interesting to know that. Here's a claw. If you ever have any, um, uh, like if you have some big, uh, like if you have a tree or something that you need to haul away, the city will bring a claw like that to your um, house. You can call if you have a big load that's too big for the trash can and they can take it in their extra big dumpster. Here's a crane, just like we started out our story time with. Wow, look at, there's a big tower part and then the arm comes off of it. Let's see if I can get... Yeah, and here's a close up of all of the cable that is used to pick up the heavy loads. You can you have to have something really strong to pick up a big load. And here's the little um, apparatus that the cables are attached to. So this book is available to check out. Like I said, it's an old book. It's not in the best shape, but I really like that it has all those pictures. So I haven't discarded it. I can't replace it. So I'll just leave it till it wears out. I'll leave it in the collection for us to use and enjoy. Let's do a story about the little dump truck. This one is by Marjorie Kyler. I'm a little drunk dump truck run by hard hat Pete. Hat rattle clatter driving down the street. I'm a little dump truck hauling stones and rocks, bumping, bouncing, thumping, crossing city blocks. I'm a little dump truck turning at the light, slowing, braking, stopping at the building site. I'm a little dump truck parking in the road, dumping out my load. There comes all the stones out. Remember, just like you. We did with our little dinosaur one. Okay. I'm a little dump truck watching workers build forklifts, lifting beams, and a big hole being filled. There's the forklift over here, and here they are filling in a big hole. I'm a little dump truck waiting for debris. That means leftover stuff, garbage, stuff they don't want excavator scoops and drops dirt into me. I'm a little dump truck carting out the trash on and off, on and off, warning red lights flash. I'm a little dump truck driving down Route 10, heading for the landfill to unload again. I'm a little dump truck backing to the right tipping down my dumpster at the garbage site. I'm a little dump truck leaving through the gate, riding down the highway to another state. I'm a little dump truck stopping to get gas. Hard hat Pete drinks coffee and other truckers pass. Here he is hooked up to the gas. I'm a little dump truck working hard each day, back and forth, back and forth. I love my job, hooray. Here's all the other vehicles on the road. Well, I hope you like that little story about that happy little dump truck. 
And we are going to make a dump truck for our craft project today. So if you could get your um, craft pack, if you don't have a craft pack, um, we still have a limited number left. If you'd like to come down and get one and you can do it with us, you can you know turn this on and do it later. So I've also got in our craft pack, we have um, some activities. I have a drawing lesson here. So you can learn how to draw a dump truck. And then we have a connect the dots dump truck here. What else have we got? We have one more thing here. And here is a recipe for some dirt pudding cups. So that might be a fun thing to make and pretend maybe you could pretend you're the dump truck and you're dump the ingredients in. That would be kind of fun. Okay, uh, in your craft pack, you're going to have some pages with some cutouts. It looks like a lot, I know, uh, but I think we're going to just be fine. Here's some real ones. Here's a little bit of red. And then I, I don't know if I got two of these by mistake. I don't know. We'll see. I think I only need one of those. Uh, but I accidentally got two. So I'm going to put one aside. So you'll see what we're going to make is our a little picture like this. Another thing you have in your pack is um, some uh, grass fasteners. And you might need a little help with that because they, they're, they're not super sharp. But you might need a little help getting them in place. So the, they are used so you can swivel your dumping thing right here. And then also we used them down here so you could turn the wheels of your vehicle. So um, I haven't put any, I didn't draw any pictures or anything on the back, but if you have some crayons at home after you get your uh, truck assembled, maybe you want to add some buildings or some trees in the back to make your picture more special, and that would just be fine. Okay, so first order of business, I'm going to push this down. Okay, first order of business is, let's cut out the three shapes that you see right here. So I'm going to do that. I'm using my safety scissors here. And there are three pieces. I don't know if your sheet is blue also, whatever, whatever color it is, is just fine. So this will be the, the, the bottom of our truck. We have one long skinny rectangle. And then we have a couple of other rectangles. Here's a medium sized one. I'm gonna cut that one out next. Here we go. It's not hard to cut these out, but if you need help, just ask. And I'm sure a grown up will help you. Okay, there's the second one. And I'm gonna cut out the small one. Okay, so this is the main part of our dump truck, these three pieces. And let's check our sample. So the main piece is here, then the smallest one is here, and the medium sized one is our um, bucket. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue those onto a background sheet. I have a green background sheet. I'm going to put first of all now I want you to notice before we get to the gluing part notice that we have to leave room on the bottom to fit the wheels and so we don't want to glue this long piece right on the bottom edge we need to go up about that much so I'm going to put some glue on my piece of glue that's long and skinny I'm going to do that one first and my glue won't come out I'm going to try a glue stick. Sometimes that happens and I can't. Okay, so here I have, I don't know if you can see, I've glued this whole piece and now I'm going to stick it on to my green sheet. I'll hold it up so you can see. Okay, that's about where I put it. I left some room here. I left some room on the back for when I have my box that I'm going to dump out and I left room right here for my wheels. Okay, next up, I'm going to glue on 
the cab. And we are not going to glue just yet. We're not going to glue on the dumping part because we're going to make that our, our bucket that moves. So we don't want to glue that one on. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Um, on our sample, we have a little extra piece here. And I think you probably have a little scrap piece. I have a red scrap piece. So I'm going to use that for my, my window. And I'm just going to cut a little kind of a square shape like that and glue it on. I'll show you where I put that. I put it right here. Okay, next let's do, um, let's get our brown piece because we're going to cut kind of a little lump of dirt. So lump of dirt could be any shape. <laughs> okay, there's my lump of dirt. And I'm going to glue that so it's kind of sticking up over the edge of the blue, just like in our sample. Okay, we're not going to glue it to the background. We're just going to glue those two pieces together. So I'm going to put some glue on the bottom edge of my lump of dirt. And I'm going to glue it so it's kind of sticking out like that. So that's my, my load that's going to be on my truck. And while I'm at it with using my brown, I'm going to cut a few more shapes to represent the rocks and the dirt that I'm dumping out. Just any shape is fine. This is just some good scissors practice right here. I'm going to, I'm going to cut out five for right now. I'm making them different sizes. Okay. For each of those, put a little glue and put it. I dropped that one. Put it right down here, like you just left, like you just your your dump truck just dumped its load. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to glue all of those on. I cut out five, and I'll show you just as soon as I get done gluing them. Okay, here's what I did. I glued some dirt on there, and I dropped one of my pieces. Where did it go? Oh, excuse me, I gotta pick it up off the floor. Okay, so next we wanna get one of our brass fasteners. Remember, those are those little things in the baggie that you got. Okay. So these have two little parts. Again, you probably wanna have a grown up help you with these, but let me just show you. We're going to attach the dumping part to the base, and then that will let us swivel. So I'm going to just get my dumpy thing here, and I'm going to poke this through the corner, just like that, OK? And then I'm going to poke through here, too. OK, and then on the back, you want to open up the little Prongs, and then you can get some movement on your on your uh, bucket there. Now, what are we missing? We haven't put the wheels on yet, have we? So let's go to our little scrap that has some circles in it. That's this one right here. And I'm going to get my scissors again, and I'm going to cut out those three circles. Here I go. My first circle. Hey, you know what we were talking about the letter C? Circle starts with the letter C and it has a letter C in the middle. And it has both the S sound and the hard C k -k sound in the same word. So circle, the first letter C says and the second letter C says it's spelled C-I-R-C-L-E. So that, here's another one. I got my second one. Now I'm on my last one. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay, so this is a side view of our truck. So usually we don't think of trucks as having three wheels, but really if, if it was a full, you know, if we have a three dimensional truck, it would have actually 
three sets of wheels, three pairs of wheels, or maybe even extra wheels. So um, we're just going to put one, two, three on there. And we're going to use our brass fasteners again. I, if you like using them, you get to use them three more times. So what you do is you find the middle of your circle approximately, and you poke the little fastener right there, and then go to your um, dump truck and poke it right where you want it. So I'm going to put it right about here. You might actually want to put it a little below the actual truck so it doesn't, I think that works better. So I poked my hole right here because the wheels aren't sitting on the truck. They're actually supporting the truck, aren't they? I'm going to put my first one in there. I didn't get my circles cut out perfectly, so I think it would be a very bumpy ride in this dump truck. Check that out. Look at that. I left a pointy wheel. <laughs> I don't know if that would work. Okay, that's okay. This is just some art, it's not a real truck. Now we're gonna do the second wheel. I'm poking through the middle and I'm gonna look at where I put this one. I'm gonna try to put it kind of at the same level, but I'm gonna put it up about two thirds of the way right here. And then I go around to the back and I open up these little wrong things right there. You got to press them down a little bit and be careful because they're a little bit sharp. <clears throat> and then I've got my last one and my final wheel. Okay, and oh, thank you, Rosa. Thank you for watching. I miss you too. Someone just sent me a little note on, okay, here we go. I'm really trying to open this up. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, I got it. I think I've got it. Okay, now let's check and make sure everything works. The dumping part works. This wheel works, I think. Yep, it does. And this wheel works and this wheel works. If you want to, go ahead and Use your crayons and draw some buildings or some birds up in the air, maybe a tree in the background, however you want to. And if you want, you can draw yourself in the cab of the dump truck so you can be the driver. I hope you had fun making this craft today and that you enjoyed our construction story time. I enjoyed putting it together for you. And don't forget to come down and play our Dr. Seuss game if you'd like some Dr. Seuss prizes. Have a terrific day, everybody, and we'll see you next time.